Yep, now we have units over here now. Doesn't end. Doesn't end at all. I'm sure all the it'll end soon though. easier for me, that's for sure. Okay, I can double attack you. Let's see, can I get you all the way over here? I can. Boom, 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 boom. Probably gonna have to heal you now, too. I am kind of happy about though is that this these parts of the game will actually not take as long as like most of the part four chapters these battles are actually relatively short maybe not necessarily this one this one's not a, the best example but like even the last one wasn't that long so yeah you can kind of get an idea of how long these battles actually are I'll go ahead and use you. Finish you off. Gotta love when you get tear. That really tears the enemy apart. <laughs> oh, I'm so not funny. Okay. Let's see, steel sword. I'm gonna see if I can actually max out, like, Gotri's weapons, like, get his axe and sword to S, and then his lance to SS, which it already is at this point. That'd be kind of cool, I think. If I wanted to, I could be a jerk right here and kill this guy, but then I'd be in range of, uh, Lavelle, so I'm gonna avoid that. Like, a Lavelle's not that big of a threat. Like, I hope I'm not, like making it so, like, he sounds like he is or anything. But, you know, he is powerful compared to most of the bosses in this game. Plus, he has skills that he'll actually use, so that's another thing to keep in mind. That resolve skill is definitely a good skill for that kind of class to have. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm done with that turn, so... I think he's going to get some reinforcements from the south this time, my guess. Yep, I was right. <clears throat> going to want to take these guys out too, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, move and save first. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh... Please, get soul. Thank you! Hooray, Makalov was not useless in that instance. Uh, okay, that works. Oh, you missed twice? Really? Come on, Rolf. Don't be like that. Eh, yeah, sure. Still not quite ready to move, uh, Nephany forward to attack. I would love to, though, but... Just not ready for that at this moment. I'll leave Gotri right there. Critical, maybe? Nope. 
Oh, does anyone need healing, by the way? It doesn't look like it. Maybe Jill. Well, no, no. That was just from the level up. Two level ups, I'm guessing. Okay, um... I could bring you down. No, not quite. I'll leave you right there, then. And, uh... Let's go ahead and battle save again. And... Let's see what happens. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. What?! Both sides? Really? That's stupid. Well, fine, I'll have Makalov go up there. How about that? That's right, Makalov will take care of this. Not really a bad move, either, because Makalov could. He's strong enough to. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and use uh, the double bow right here. Oh, wow, that is a lot of damage to uh, the bail. That's something I want to consider doing against him. For now, though, I want to be a little careful, because I don't want to... ...necessarily finish it right here. Hooray, got stunned. We can almost even start the battle up here now, too, at the top. So, I'm getting close. For now, though, I just need to destroy all these uh, units guarding Lavelle. Then, then I should be ready. Critical? Dang it. One HP, so close. Okay, well, I think we're uh, pretty well covered. Uh, next time, I think we should definitely be able to start uh, destroying the Vale and starting to attack the Black Knight as well. Uh, let's see. Anyone need healing by chance? Rolf took some damage, but not, like, major damage or anything. I, yeah, I could even use Makaya if I really wanted to. I think I will. So I'm not in any desperate need of healing right now. Okay, Lavelle is completely unguarded right now. Which is good. It's the way it should be. Good to go there. Don't worry, Ike. You won't have to keep moving like this for too long. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's it, so... Let us end our turn right there. See what happens. Also, another thing uh, worth mentioning, and this actually goes for all of the chapters that follow this as well. Um, and this actually confused me on my very first playthrough, because I wasn't that smart enough to figure it out. But as you can see, the uh, floor tiles for these chapters, a lot of the floor tiles look different, and uh, each floor tile actually has a different attribute. Uh, there's a... Uh, the f normal floor, which doesn't have any attributes. There's cover, which actually gives you plus 10 defense. So, when you can, it's wise to stand on the cover spaces. So, uh, when we want to attack the Black Knight, it's going to actually be pretty wise to just stay here and let him attack us. So, that is one thing you should definitely consider when doing this chapter. 
Uh, for right now, I should probably get rid of these units before I attack uh, the Vale. I didn't think they'd actually come out this turn, but they fooled me. They fooled me. Actually, can I, uh, what does the Silver Polax do? Okay, that works. I want to make sure I can kill all these fools, which I can. Which means I am probably going to have to hold back on attacking the Vale again, but... I only have my best interest in mind here, so... It's best that I play this safe. Okay, I think you're safe over there by yourself. Go ahead and heal you. You know what, I'll go ahead and purge that other guy too. Just to use the last purge that I have. Or, I don't know, I could purge Lavelle too. Which, that's actually seeming like a good idea. Sure, why not? Take that! Okay. Now, we need to be careful, though, because as you guys know, the Veil does have Resolve. So when his HP does get lower than 30, he's going to be dodging a lot more attacks than you think he could. So that's one thing you really need to keep in mind. Just make sure you keep that in mind. Like, uh, let's go ahead and look at this. Yeah, like, I can hit him twice for 100%, but that 100% is going to lower. Plus, he's also going to get a higher chance to get his uh, skill attack. He's also going to be able to uh, get critical attacks more. It's it's really wise that you look out for all of these different moves. Like, right here, I have 198 hit, which is actually a pretty good percentage. Especially since he only has 66 avoids. So, it might be better to actually attack and try to finish him off with a roll. That's probably the best idea that I can do, so I'm going to go ahead and save and try that. Hopefully I don't get unlucky here, but I don't think I will. Okay, cool. I got him. Perfect. So yeah, Lavelle's dead, and we got the Wishblade. Not only that, but we actually got a full-powered Wishblade. And that he didn't actually use it, so it has all of its uses still. So now I'm going to finish this, these guys up. Can I kill these guys in one shot? Yes, I can. Critical attack. Wait, what's your, uh... Okay, SS. Perfect. Well, it doesn't really matter, since you can use Tarvos no matter what, and that's probably going to be your weapon in the long run. There we go, got a critical attack on you, and finally, kill you. All of the enemy units except the Black Knight have been defeated. So yeah, I think we did a great job with that. But now is where the real battle begins. The, the important battle. The battle actually means something. And, uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave Ike right here. i uh, gonna go ahead and battle save first, just in case, like, I don't want to get unlucky or anything. And, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, shoot. I probably should have put animations on. Well, either way, we're not gonna be seeing any, uh, major blows or anything, so we should be fine. But yeah, I will go ahead and put those animations on. I apologize about forgetting those. Just so you can see Ike fight the Black Knight. Fight the Black Knight and, and not die like he did in my earlier attempt at Chapter 3-7. I still can't believe that happened, no, in all honesty. Got very unlucky with that, I have to admit. 
Okay, and meanwhile, I can also get the coveted Wishblade from Rolf, and now Nethany has the best lance in the entire game, so hooray for that. Meanwhile, though, we do have to kill these guys, so let's not dilly-dally with that. Attack anybody? No, you can't. Okay, I'm good. Actually, I'm trying to think if I can get someone up there. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Oh well, not a big deal. Um, let's go ahead and uh, battle save again, just in case. And let's attack him again. This time, actually watching the animation. But yeah, we definitely have the advantage in damage and in uh, taking damage as well, so this fight will definitely be over. I believe he does have some... No, he doesn't. Never mind. For a minute, I thought he had some healing items, but I... Oh yeah, he does. He has the Ambu skill. Restores HP equal to this unit's magic power every turn. 18? That sucks. I don't want the game 18 return. That's stupid. And yeah, don't think that you can heal Ike because you can't. That section is completely blocked off, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. But we'll, we'll be fine. I, I think we'll be fine. Plus, we'll battle save every turn just to be safe. Plus, we actually have a chance to give a critical attack, too, which is always nice. Yeah, I should have known that was going to happen. Ah, so many enemies. So stupid. But yeah, this is why I recommended probably bringing a healing item, just in case. So, like, I'm pretty sure I can finish him off. And Oh, yeah, especially with that. Okay, chapter over. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but whatever. It works for me. General Zelgius has been defeated, and so has the notorious Black Knight. Seems like he was trying to say something in that last moment. Guess we'll find out more about that later. But yeah, the Black Knight has been defeated. Before we go, though... Two swords, Ragnell and the Londites. 
start calling out to each other. And no, this does not mean that Ike gets two swords. But you do get the Elondite sword, and it's an SS sword that you can give to whoever can use it, so... Yeah, it's basically another weapon you can give, and I plan to give that sword to Makalov. So yeah, that is what I plan to do. But before we move on... We have another cutscene. You bear the mark. So that's your secret, is it? The blood of the Laguz runs through your veins. Yes. There was someone on my father's side who... who was with the Laguz. My lord, the brand. Do you know of a way to remove it? This cursed thing. I, I, I'm an outcast from my family. I, I joined the military to escape the shame and hatred in their eyes. I live in fear of discovery. When I think that I might see that same shame and hatred in another's eyes, I, I, I come close to despair. I have lived my life alone. Unable to trust or become close to anyone. Such loneliness and isolation, you poor child. It pains me to tell you that I know of no way to remove your brand. I... I understand. It was a foolish question. I, I apologize. Lord Sage, I... I realized some years ago that I was aging more slowly than others do. And you wish to conceal that fact, don't you? Is that why you rarely remove your armor, even when indoors? Yes, but this ruse will not last indefinitely. In a few years, I will be forced to leave this army service. And once again, you will be alone. I am accustomed to being alone. My only hesitation is that I will miss studying the sword under my commander, General Gawain. When the time comes for you to leave, will you come to me, perhaps? My lord? We share a similar condition. I see something familiar within you. I can understand your pain and isolation. But why me? I have a task that I must accomplish. With you at my side, I would feel more confident of my success. If I join you, will I be redeemed? I cannot say. At the very least, however, you will no longer be alone. And neither will I. That is enough, then. You have made my decision simple. When I leave here, I will find you. I am a soldier in the Dayan army. I serve under the command of General Gawain. My name is Zelkius. May I ask your name, my Lord Sage? My name? Of course. So yeah, the uh, point of those cutscenes is that... Each cutscene, you're watching through the eyes of this one person, and we'll continue to have those cutscenes as we continue to go throughout the tower. So uh, that is something very important. This character has had a lot of effect on a lot of different people, and yeah, um, just he's just a very important character in general. So yeah, we'll find out more about that later. I believe we everything comes together when we reach the fourth part of the end game, so uh, that is what that has to do with that. But basically we were uh, seeing Zelgius through the eyes of this mysterious person, so got a little glimpse into Zelgius's past. 
Also found out that Zelgius is apparently a branded as well, so... Interesting. And we got the Alondite, <laughs> which we already knew. And wow, we have a lot of bonus experience. I should probably use that next chapter. But anyway, uh, that is about it for part two of the end game. Uh, this has been Slim Kirby. I'll see you guys next time for part three, which I think is actually the longest part. So yeah, get ready for that. Later, folks.